Okay, everyone, take your seat. School is now officially in session. At least it is for the five incredible students we'll be honoring tonight. Hello and welcome to the KIXE 5th Annual Big Education Event. I'm your host, Jesse Angelo, and for the next half hour, it will be my privilege to introduce to you the future leaders of the North State. Back in the fall, these students were nominated by their teachers, peers, and principals for their outstanding work ethic, character, and contributions to their schools. So let's get to it. Our first stop are the halls of Paradise High School, where we will find senior Janessa Ramirez preparing for an upcoming pep rally. As one of the co-ASB presidents at Paradise High School, Janessa Ramirez has many responsibilities, but the one she takes most seriously is making sure all of the students on campus feel accepted and included. J Janessa is the type of person who sees beyond the everyday. She sees people that might be invisible to other people. You know, in our culture, sometimes we ignore things around us. Janessa is aware of needs of others. I mean, that's such a great gift that she has, that empathy, that care, that concern for others. Um, being left out sucks. And I think as students in high school and junior high, we've all kind of experienced that. And just that feeling, it's the worst feeling that you can feel, especially at this growing and um, young age that we're at right now. So just having friends and people that you can rely on to just even be there or say good morning to you, it makes a big difference in just a person's day and in a person's life. So I like to include everybody just so they're important. She's all about being inclusive. The first thing that she did as, as student body president was she, um, she wanted to go out into the halls and make sure that people knew that she was accessible and that she was there for them and that they could come to her and you know talk to her and and have access to her and i in the past have had other leaders who do not have those same uh, values and desires they are yeah, she definitely is in it for the right reasons. And the right reasons for her are that she cares about the students at the school, she cares about uh, the school, she cares about the legacy that she leaves. Being elected to the school's highest office wasn't enough for Janessa, who was also a straight-A student holding down an after-school job at Dutch Bros. When asked about her work ethic, she says it comes directly from being raised by a single mom. The fact that I try so hard and work so hard is I grew up in a single parent home and uh, growing up with such a, um, a hard working mom and a struggling with financial issues as a child and not being able to get a certain backpack or a certain type of clothing for the school, it, it like wanted me to, it like helped me push forward and keep dreaming about how one day when I have a family it's not going to end up being like that and it kind of helped me gave, have sympathy and empathy for the students who are still struggling with certain situations like that. This is a girl who works, is an ASB president, gets A's in school, and is doing this fabulous senior project. I mean she, her day is so filled and it's always above and beyond what everybody else is doing. She's an amazing human being, exceptional, exceptional in the North State. And I have to say over all the years I've been teaching, she stands out in the top 1%. Janessa will be graduating in May with her sights set on attending Chico State in the fall. While she may no longer be physically on campus, her teachers believe her legacy will be felt for years to come. Well, I'd, I'd say, Janessa has set a really high bar around here for leadership and we've had a you know we've had many great leaders at Paradise High School and you know some of them you've interviewed in the past um, but Janessa brought an energy and enthusiasm and a, a just a, her positive nature to everything that she did here. So at least for the four years of students, all the students that are here, freshman through senior year, they're gonna remember Janessa as being the one who, you know, who led the rallies that were fun and, uh, and light and, uh, and energetic. Um, and she just brings that enthusiasm to everything that she does. Janessa has been instrumental in making some changes. Um, 
not all have been well received, but I think her intent is to try new things to see if they'll be better. You know, this year we did the first formal homecoming dance ever, and there was a lot of you know, push back on that. And we went ahead and did it and it was a huge success. She's going to be a standout for the rest of her life. She will be someone that when you have known her, you'll be able to say, oh, wow, I knew Janessa. She was amazing. So, and I'm going to pass on her legacy as a teacher and remind people what there is to strive for. And I mean, she is the kind of person that we all should strive to be. Thank you, Janessa, for everything you've done for Paradise High School. We can't wait to see what life after graduation holds for you. Now, from a graduating high school senior to someone who still has a few more years of school to go, allow me to introduce you to sixth grader Misty Burton. Middle school can be tough. Just ask Shasta Lake School 6th grader Misty Burton. Misty had been having some difficulty with other students in her class when her teachers decided to place her in the REACH program at Buckeye School of the Arts. It was within that program that Misty thrived and regained her self-confidence. Um, teacher in REACH, she's helped me by ignoring the boys in my class because they's, they've always picked on me, but I picked on them once in a while, but then I started ignoring and then it got better and better. Now I'm in SLS. Now I'm out of the REACH program. She, she was motivated to work and get back to her regular school. Um, the teachers loved her and she flourished in art and many other subjects. All teachers in the whole school were very proud of Misty confidence now and I'm doing better in my sixth grade classes. Misty's positive attitude change and work ethic has been inspiring for teachers and students at both Buckeye and Shasta Lake School. It's um, wonderful to see students that maybe at the beginning of the year felt challenged and maybe self-defeated that they they have the strength that they have the ability to rise learn com contribute positively to the whole school campus where other teachers take notice or, and are vying we want this student in our classroom we've seen all the great growth that she's done it's wonderful to see the progress and so i think other students see that they're inspired by her growth and determination Misty was nominated for the big education event by school psychologist Dave Whitaker, who says he has witnessed firsthand the growth in her self-confidence. Confidence has grown leaps and bounds. She was very shy when she entered the program. She was the only girl when she first started, and um, she, so quite very quiet, timid. But towards the end, when she was going back to her regular school, she was participating in art contests. She was going outside of the her classroom and really stepping out, you know, pushing herself. And the teachers were very proud. The principal even acknowledged, this is some of the best artwork I've seen. And she took it upon herself to describe her artwork in front of the whole school, which was a big step for Misty. Art is Misty's first love, especially drawing animals and people. But she has learned a thing or two about painting landscapes and dealing with mistakes from a certain popular PBS artist. There's this one channel on KIXE that I really like, the, the art channel. I forgot the guy's name though, because <laughs> he's a good artist. And I even tried doing his one of his um, art things, but I messed up on it. But then I made it a little better. It taught me how to... Um, uh, make things better even though you mess up on them. I'm a big fan of Bob Ross myself, so uh, Miss Misty was very artistic. Every day she was uh, given the opportunity to express her skills and you could really see that was one of her strengths and so the teachers and the staff here really focused on that to build her up into other areas of her life. Her giving and caring nature has also led Misty to stand up when she's noticed other kids being picked on or bullied. This little kid was being bullied. He was a kindergartner. Then I told the teacher, and then I told him, can you please stop? It's not nice to do that. And he said, no, should I? So then I said, um, it's because little kids are just little. They don't know any better, and you shouldn't even be bullying them. They're just little kids. 
and you're a big kid, you should be setting an example for them. She's always been willing to help younger students. That's something that's very unique to Buckeye campus is that we have kindergarten all the way up to eighth grade. And it's like a family. Kids help each other out despite the different grade levels. It's a very nurturing environment. Misty plans to take these character lessons with her throughout high school and beyond, and hopefully one day have a career as an artist. I want to be an artist and a gardener because I like uh, flowers and stuff, so then I wanted to make a garden because um, <clears throat> I actually wanted to be a farmer too, and I could paint landscapes of farmland and stuff. Every time I see Misty, she's got a big smile on her face. She's wanting to give uh, new art pieces of artwork that she's completed. And we, we do believe that she's got great things ahead of her, a lot of a success down the road. Keep smiling, Misty. Bob Ross would be really proud of you for turning adversity into something positive like he did with Happy Little Trees. Who knows, maybe someday you'll be the one teaching us how to paint on PBS. Now it's time to switch gears from paintbrushes to touchdowns. Come with me down to Lassen View Elementary in Derryville, where eighth grader Braden Robinson is a leader both on the field and in the classroom. Lassen View eighth grader Braden Robinson may play both offense and defense for the junior Spartans football team and be a star player on the school's basketball team, but it is his attitude, work ethic, and character off the field that really sets him apart. Braden is an all-around student. Not only is he very academic, but he's well-rounded, so he's a leader. Braden is one of those kids that I can always count on to be a positive influence. We used to give him the nickname Captain America because he's very patriotic, but he's a kid that knows right from wrong, and if he sees other students doing something wrong, he'll say, hey, knock it off you guys you need to be, be back on it and he is just a great example to the younger children he helps them out he's one of those kids that is always willing to do an errand he never gives you any attitude when he has to do anything extra above and beyond he's a humble child but he works really hard in the classroom and he's a 4.0 student he was for all of seventh grade and so far all of eighth grade He's involved in all kinds of sports and extracurricular activities, 4-H. His family is very involved in the community. And he's just one of those shining examples of what a Lassen View Lion should be. To be a leader, you just have to have confidence and not be afraid to show your opinion. And even if it, gets, even if it doesn't work out, you can still be friends with whoever you're having a discussion with. I sure would hope I'm a leader. I, that's what I've been trying to be, but I've been trying to get good grades and set a good example for the l younger children. One place Braden's helpful nature and leadership is routinely on display is Lawson View's after-school program, SURF. It's an after-school program where you get to stay and do your homework, and then after you're done with your homework, you can do fun activities. To help out with SURF, mainly I just clean up after snack and take the garbages out and stuff. I think it's important to help people because you're just making everybody's life easier if you help somebody and that's what you're really looking for. So Braden um, participates in SURF which is um, our after school program that we have here at Lassen View and there are many times that there are varying age groups in SURF and younger children that need help and Braden always has a smile and he's very positive with the younger children. And that's just Braden's character. He probably doesn't even think anything of it. It's just the kind of person that he is. Braden has been raised to be the kind of kid that cares about other people innately. It's just how he is. His family is very caring and involved and it shines through with Braden. I'd say my mom's a good example to me for a role model. My mom always donates her time to the football leagues and the basketball. She tries to help in the snack bar as much as she can and she does team mom for everything she can. I'm going to give lots of props to Rocky and Tanya, his mom and dad, because I feel like they have done an amazing job. I had Braden's older brother DJ in class as well and I can say that the family is very tight and they have a high standard for their sons and it's very obvious 
that their sons rise to that. Braden also tries to help other students to rise up to their potential, whether it's by cheering them on as a teammate or by offering help as a tutor. I hope the kids in my class sometimes, whenever they need help, I can try and help them as much as I can. I try and help them. Sometimes people have a hard time in class because it's not the easiest, but it's just you have to tell them that it's going to be better because if you work hard, it'll always pay off. Brayden is a big encourager. Again, in a quiet way. He would never want the spotlight on himself. If the spotlight happens to fall on Brayden, he's confident and he can um, perform, but he's not one to seek it out. And so sometimes I think he might get overlooked just because of his humble personality, but he is an encourager in all of the different sports that he participates in. He rises to that captain level and he's that unspoken leader on and off the field. And again, I think that's a tribute to his parents. And I do feel that it's just a part of his core personality. Braden knows that you need to be confident and you need to help others and that if everybody is confident, then the team does better. So he's a good team player. We've been involved um, with lots of different things in history class and Braden gets really into all of the projects and all of the different um, things that we do in class. He's really um, invested in school. He's really into it. Braden, you can be on my team anytime. Great work down there in Derryville. For our next amazing student, we're staying in Tehama County, just traveling a little bit southeast to Kirkwood Elementary School, where eighth grader Faith Daly is working hard on some pretty big goals. Kirkwood Elementary School eighth grader Faith Daly is a straight A student with goals of becoming a doctor and her high school valedictorian. When I first got my A plus, in fourth grade, it was on a very important project. It was meant a lot to me. And so I would try really hard to keep getting good grades. And then in sixth grade, when I got my first 4.0, I made sure that I really got to keep that one. My goals are to, to succeed in keeping a 4.0 all year round for my last year here at Kirkwood. And I want to have all throughout high school um, higher than a 4.0, at the least a 4.2 GPA, and I also want to do, in my last year of high school, I want to take night classes at the Corning High School so I could take those classes and put them towards my AA. And the main thing that I think for me and for her classmates stands out for Faith is how important her goals are, both short-term and long-term, um, and she is uh, very open, happy to talk about those goals, which I think sometimes is hard for a teenager, um, but she makes it loud and clear that she has these goals, she intends to reach them, she's not going to let anything get in her way, um, and that is one of the main reasons that, that we wanted to select her for this. The staff at Kirkwood Elementary School were having difficulty choosing who to nominate for the big education event, so they turned to the students, and it was her peers that overwhelmingly chose her. Somebody who, if anybody needs help in the class, I can send Faith to any person in the class to sit and work with them. Um, she's going to be compatible working with everybody. Um, the comment that a, a majority of her classmates said about Faith that they respected and looked up to was her diligence in her work. Um, her work ethic is phenomenal. She's looking into things. She always wants to know more. She's uh, diving into a book to find out more. Um, if, she, if her interest is piqued in a topic, um, she's not just going to let it stay there. And she's always willing to put in that extra mile. She's yeah, curious to know, asks questions about everything. The same work ethic that drives her curiosity in the classroom can be seen in her determination to excel on the volleyball court. So I noticed in the beginning of volleyball, one thing she really struggled in was getting her serve over the net, which I think is a struggle for most volleyball players in the beginning. It's a long way over the net. And um, at first I know she was really embarrassed about it, but she just kept bringing it and kept on trying and eventually she got there and she was one of the most consistent servers on the team. I get my, uh, my interest in wanting to try hard and stuff is my grandma because she believes in um, when you start something to go through with it and try also, my teacher believes in try, try, and try again. 
just like my grandmother does. Faith is a student who hasn't always had the easiest path set in front of her. Um, she has, from childhood, had to overcome obstacle after obstacle. And if you look at Faith and you get to know her, you would never have any idea that she has all of that underneath her. But I think that's what makes her so steadfast, what makes her so reliable, what makes her so consistent. Um, she wants to be that person for other people who maybe don't have that consistency and that steadfastness. And that's something I really, really respect um, about her, is coming from, um, you know, sometimes that maybe haven't always been easy and making the best out of them and, and using those times that haven't been easy to really drive and motivate her and push her um, to, do, to do better. Faith lives with her grandmother, and that relationship is her biggest motivation for wanting to enter the medical field. Next month will be 19 years my grandmother has been cancer-free. Um, she had a cancer that only um, that women get, uterus and cervical cancer. She got it when before they you could find out the doctors would be able to find out if she what gender she was, and like um, only an obstetrician would usually help with that kind of stuff. So I want to be a doctor because of people like my grandmother, and I want to help people like her that needed it. The, the spirit of faith and, and what's at her core, um, like I've mentioned before, is just meeting her goals and reaching them. She, uh, she doesn't want to stay put. She wants to go out. She wants to see the world. She wants to make a difference. Um, and I know that she will. I am going to be a doctor someday. <laughs> hmm. Dr. Faith. I like the sound of that. Thanks for letting us be a part of your amazing journey. All right. Are you ready for our final stop? Come with me to UPREP in Reading, where we will find ambitious ASB President Parker Swanson. Parker Swanson is busy leading the student body at UPREP in Reading as their ASB President, a position he almost didn't run for. Last year I was the, just the social media commissioner. It was a pretty just straightforward task, um, and I had no real aspirations to seek the, the ASB presidency until I went to the California Association of Student Leaders Conference and I saw some just incredible leaders and some incredible things they do and that really just inspired me to do that. Um, and so I you know, took a leap of faith and put myself out there to the whole school running for ASB president. Um, he recognizes that in the position that he's in, uh, he um, owns the responsibility of that, uh, but has a really nice balance of enjoying the job as well as fulfilling his duties and doing that through others as well. He is often found around campus interacting not just with students, but with our teachers as well. He's very interested in how um, the student body feels about what's happening um, on campus and wants to do what he can do to make school the best place for them to be. Creating a positive environment on campus and spreading school spirit are two things Parker takes very seriously, even if it means taking the time to have lunch with sixth graders. And last year when I was campaigning for ASB president, I would go to their classrooms, I would hang out with them at lunch. I think it's really um, cool. I love kids and I love um, inspiring them and being a great role model for them, um, training them up to be, you know, to be great members of high school. So I think they, they absolutely love having um, high schoolers who typically shun them. There's kind of a, a vibe um, around the high school for a long time that I've been trying to work on getting out of that, oh, the junior high shouldn't be here, other high schools don't have a junior high. I'm like, this is a great opportunity to connect with the younger members of our school community. And they're really, they really are valuable. And he really does want every student on campus to feel involved and connected, even down to our sixth grade and our junior high. You know, holding that ASB role as a senior, I think he really takes that as I am, you know, here to get everyone involved and that's sixth grade through twelfth. And I think the kids feel it. They, I mean, it's been a shift the past four years. More kids at games, more kids at dances, um, and I think in large part that's due to Parker. He started, you know, social media ways to connect and get the kids out there and dressing up in different themes for games. and. Um, and I don't think it'd be possible without him. He really took the reins and he, um, he kind of drove all of that, so. Parker drives involvement in all aspects of campus life at UPREP, serving as the lead prosecutor on their mock trial team, playing multiple sports, leading the Big Brothers Big Sisters program, in addition to being in yearbook and fellowship of Christian athletes. 
His active spirit can also be seen in the community where he volunteers for the Make-A-Wish Foundation and many other community organizations. Parker wasn't always this active in his school and the community, but he says once he did take the step to get involved, his life was changed forever. I actually, um, as a junior higher going up through the years, you know, I was, uh, I've kept to myself pretty much. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of friends and that actually kind of took a toll on me personally. Um, in eighth grade, I was diagnosed with depression um, and I had to go seek treatment for that. But um, I think easily, what has helped me through the years and making sure that that won't happen to me again and I won't reach that stage of you know loneliness and discomfort is getting involved and to anyone that would want to get involved even if it's in the back of your mind I say absolutely do it because you won't want to look back on any opportunity you've been given and say well shoot I should have taken that it's much better to try it out and say maybe this isn't for me um, and it just does tremendous things for you um, not only in your present life, but it really does tremendous things for your future as well. Parker's genuine. I mean, it really does come from the heart. It's he's passionate. It's it is really him. You know, the true Parker is what you see. It's there's no fakeness. There's um, there really is just this passionate, good person inside that I think wants to help other people and um, and wants to help help the school um, and I can see him continuing to do that into college but um, just one-on-one -on -one when you're talking with him you just see such a good kid you know I, can't, I, I don't know, know how to really other describe it just a good passionate kid who has a great heart is kind is sincere um, and I think gonna do great things and in true Parker fashion he already has a plan for his future uh, after graduation I hope to attend Cal Poly San Luis Obispo um, and major in political science. And then after that, um, I'm hoping to attend law school, perhaps at University of California, Berkeley, um, and then start a career in law and eventually hopefully go into politics. Thank you, Mr. President. I mean, Parker, with all the good work you've done for you prep, I doubt you'll have any trouble earning the votes of your teachers and peers. That was our last stop. But before class is dismissed, let me remind you that these students were nominated by their schools in the fall. And if you're interested in nominating someone for next year's event, please contact KIXE at 243-5493. Thanks for tuning in. With students like these, the future of Northern California will be in great hands. Good night.